Coffee is always on Lorene Massey's shopping list, but not today. Is this too much to pay? Well, unless I can't do any better. Coffee isn't only jump-starting the day, but it's also jolting the wallets of Central Virginians. Over the past month, consumers have seen coffee prices leap by an average of 70%. To give you an idea just how much coffee prices have gone up, last month this 39-ounce can of coffee was $6.99. It's now $10.99. And take a look at this 13-ounce bag of coffee. Last month it was $1.99. It's now $3.69. For Mary and Luther Williams, that's just too much to swallow. I think it's terrible. You were saying that you bought coffee recently? Three weeks ago, I bought Folgers coffee. Paid $1.47 for it. Today, it is $3.19. That's incredible. It is. It is. Insiders now blame the price hike on freezing weather that damaged the coffee crop in Brazil. Just last month, prices were driven up because of poor harvests in war-torn Haiti and Rwanda. Plus, land that once produced coffee in Colombia is now producing cocaine. It's the old rule of supply and demand that's even hitting local coffee houses. Some merchants who buy their coffee directly from overseas are now paying 75 cents to $1.50 more per pound. That means some coffee houses are raising the price for a single cup of coffee by at least 10 cents per cup. Buying on a weekly basis, we really have felt the effects of the price increase. And all you can do is pass that on to the consumer. Exactly. No one seems to know when or even if coffee prices will fall. Yet some believe if the trend continues, coffee could soon be worth its weight in gold. In Richmond, Mike Corbin, WTVR News Channel 6.